this video we're going to explore coordinating movement with breathing and this is just one method that we use in yoga and by trying to coordinate our movement with an inhale or with an exhale that requires that we really concentrate and focus on coordinating those two things. So one of the benefits of coordinating movement and breath is good focused attention and also when we coordinate movement with breath it creates this sense of rhythms so we're integrating our attention with our movement and this rhythm can have a kind of steadying calming effect as well so this is one of the reasons this this method is used a lot having said that it's not the only method we use sometimes if you're focusing on a particular movement or you're holding a movement, you won't necessarily be thinking of coordinating your movement and breath, you'll just be breathing naturally. So we're going to start by looking at just coordinating movement and breath in one position, and then we'll shift to uh, making that a slightly longer sequence of coordinating movement with breath as we change positions. And by the time you've done that, hopefully uh, it will start to feel a little bit more automatic how you can Feel this synchronizing of your breath and movement. The first one we're going to do involves sitting up on your sit bones. So I'm sitting on a block and a blanket. Equally, you could sit on a hard chair or just stand up. And we're just going to do one arm to start with. So you can take an arm out, palm facing the ceiling, and we're going to breathe throughout this just through the nose, which helps to slow your breathing down and make it a little bit more controlled. So just taking a slow inhale through your nose and reach your arm up. And then as you're ready to exhale, start to bring your arm down. And again, inhaling, reaching your arm up as high as it's happy to go over your head. And as you exhale, letting your arm movement last as long as that whole exhale down. And usually this slows your movement down as well. Let's do one more on this side. Inhaling the arm up. And exhaling letting the movement last as long as the exhale, arm down. Okay, let's try the other side, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm just noticing how much you have to concentrate not to kind of just rush to the end and let your arm get to the bottom, but to actually keep breathing all the way it does tend to slow things down a little bit. And really you have to stay focused on that movement the whole time. So let's try the two arms together. Inhaling up. Exhaling, arms down. Inhaling up. And as the movements are simple and become very familiar, it also kind of frees your mind up to, to focus a little on what you can feel. So as I inhale up, I'm feeling my rib cage expanding and broadening. And as I exhale down, I'm just feeling that sense of the rib cage relaxing and narrowing. Let's do one more like that. Okay, so that's just one simple thing. You can do it standing up as well. The next movement we're going to do is lying down and this is what we often start class with because it establishes that idea of synchronising movement and breath. So windscreen wipers, lying down with your arms wide, your feet fairly wide on the mat and you can start by establishing the movement which is to simply lower your knees down to one side, keeping your feet where they were more or less and then lowering them down to the other side. Another variation you can add is turning your head away from the knees, coming into a full feeling of rotating, and then the other side as well. Okay, so if we add the breath rhythm to that, you can start by inhaling through your nose, and as you exhale, drop your knees to the right, turning your head as an option to the left. Inhaling to take the knees back to center, exhaling to drop them to the other side. Let's do one more round, inhaling up. So the movement is slow and continuous. Exhaling down, movement slow and continuous. Inhaling, head and knees back to centre. So the difference between that and not coordinating the breath might look something like this. 
where the knees kind of just drop down and the knees will be lowered before the exhale is completed. So there is this benefit of when you're letting the, the or making the breath last the same length as the movement, it tends to make the movement a little bit slower and more even. Okay, so that's good old windscreen wipers. And then another one that we use really commonly to feel breath and movement sinking is cat cow. So um, setting yourself in whatever kind of tabletop shape works for you. And then we'll curl up with the exhale and extend forward with the inhale. So whenever you're ready, take a breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, feel that ripple from the base of the spine all the way up, head down. And as you inhale, can the inhale last the whole of that way through your back as you look forward? Exhaling, rounding up the trunk. And inhaling, waving forward. And again, this can help to smooth the movement out. Because it is um, also, you know, quite easy to just think, oh, I'm, I'm rounding my, my trunk up, so it can end up just being a little bit of a, of a quicker movement, rather than having the time and space to feel the spine articulate fully. Okay, so that's another nice one to practice, just to get that, that feeling of really focusing on coordinating your breath and movement. So now we're going to put them together in a slightly longer sequence of movements, combining a couple of the ones we've done already. So we're going to start in a tall kneel. As you inhale, take your arms all the way up. As you exhale, taking the arms down and back to your tabletop. As you inhale, waving through the spine to extend forward. As you exhale, curling up through the spine, head down. As you inhale, sliding your fingertips towards your knees, arms wide. This one's a bit of a stretch, reaching your arms up. And as you exhale, floating the arms down through the whole length of that exhale. Okay, so that's one round. I call that just a tall kneel and a sun salutation. Let's do one more. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling the hands down. Waiting to inhale, to extend. Exhaling to ground. And this will be a longer breath. Inhaling, inhaling, inhaling up. And then whichever way you want to exhale, exhale. Bringing the hands back down. Okay, so that's a nice one to practice that has a few more steps to it. Okay, we'll do one more that's a little bit of a longer sequence. So this time we're going to step the right leg forward into, and start in a low lunge. And then as you inhale, again, reaching the arms up. And as you exhale, reaching forward, fingertips to the mat or to blocks. As you inhale, reaching your right arm out to the side and up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, lowering that palm back down. As you inhale, coming on back up, reaching your arms up. As you exhale, hands can lower back down. You can step that leg back and do the second side. And you can see, you can add variations to the actual movements. That's not really what matters. What matters is the, the breath lasting the length of the movement. So second side, inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, hands lower the back knee can be up or down for this. Inhaling, rotating towards the front knee, exhaling, the hand down. Inhaling, coming back up, reaching your arms up, and exhaling, floating the arms down any way you like. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what, what can happen if we're not really focusing on that coordination. So it might be an inhale, you're still breathing, exhale, inhale. Can you see my arms just kind of gone and the rest of my body hasn't quite caught up? Exhale, the hands down, the breath's kind of left behind, inhaling back up. So again, we're using the breath to kind of slow down and create this smoother rhythm to our uh, movement. Okay, so give those a go and see if that helps you to let coordinating movement and breath become a little bit more second nature. And just bearing in mind, we don't use it all the time. It's just one method to create a sense of flow and rhythm. 
and in lots of other times in, in yoga we're just letting our breath be natural and that's that's all useful too if that was useful do let me know leave me a comment and let me know how that went for you